Hey, what's up everybody? This is Aristotle and we're back with another video and today we're gonna to be doing a super simple raid farm. You can build this just about anywhere and it works really quite well for how simple of a design it is. Not a lot of complicated redstone, I promise. But before we get into the design and the tutorial, I need to say thank you, thank you, Thank you to each and every single one of you who have subscribed to my channel. We did in a few short months what I thought it would take a year to do, and that's get to a thousand subs. And your support has been awesome and amazing, and I cannot thank you enough. I'm so excited about where this is going. And to say thank you further, I've been working behind the scenes on a website and Discord, and they should be launched by next week. So... Let's get to it. Let's show you this raid farm and I will fill you in on dates on everything else coming up this next week. Let's go. All right, so we are in a survival server. I play with a few friends on and they're a little camera shy, so they're not gonna be here to take you through this, uh, but I will. And this is the top of the raid farm. Really quite simple, nothing much to look at. But where do you build this thing? Well. You build it as close to one of these as possible if you want to use it often. And that's a pillager tower. So over there is where you're going to find all the raid captains and pillagers ready to get the bad omen, at which point you can cut back to the raid farm and then use it. So this one is a little too close. Ideally, you're going to need at least 96 blocks away from the furthest spawn edge of the farm and that would be about dead center on this one so take it a few blocks over this way some other things you want to look at is the terrain like you'll notice i added some steps here because we kept getting uh pillagers stuck the raid would come in from this direction and they would get stuck over here ideally what you want to do is flatten this whole thing out as much as possible because you want a smooth beeline straight to the water no matter which direction the raid comes in and they will come in from 96 blocks around the village center which is right under those glass right there and then finally you can build this by your base if you just want to take advantage of the passing patrols uh, but the problem is is i wouldn't build it so close that the uh, raiders come in and start messing with uh, villagers you might already have in your base in either your iron farm or your villager breeder so what you're going to want to do is build this at least i would say about 128 blocks out from your base okay now that we covered all the disclaimers let me jump over into creative and show you how to build this really quickly okay so this farm does not need much at all in fact you're going to be getting more blocks out of it than you're going to put into it at least as far as building blocks goes um so what we're going to start off with we need 12 uh trap doors we need 10 hoppers you need nine slabs any kind of slabs will do they can be wood or stone you need 22 uh, pieces of glass a few pieces of carpet you need uh, one bed you need one workstation in this case i chose a barrel but it can be any station you know um uh, smithing table cartography table whatever you got lying around you're going to need 24 ladders you're also going to need um some building blocks to make it look nice but like i said you're going to get more out of it than you put in so if you're okay with building with dirt don't even bother bringing anything you're gonna need at least one double chest and at least two buckets of water. And then you're gonna need one villager. And then the best way to use this um, farm is with a sword, obviously, but you're also gonna want a sword with looting three on it is gonna give you the best return. Okay, and for those of you who have subscribed, you know this circle very well. This is the five, three, two, one circle that we use in a lot of our farms. And what you're gonna do is you can just dig this straight out. I put these blocks in so it's easy to find, but you dig out a five edge, and then you come in one, dig out a three edge, then a two edge, and then one, two. And that leaves like that one right there. Now I put in a colored block just like that to make it go through, and that might be a little easier for you so you don't get too lost, but that's how you that's the edge that you want to create. If you can just do that out of dirt right out of the ground, good for you. And then it goes back to, from one, it goes to two, to three, and then back to five. And we go all the way around repeating that pattern. And you just dig it out 
one, uh, one layer deep all the way across. Okay, and so this is what you should have right here. Don't put a lip on it. Don't make it taller like that for any reason. Pillagers have the hardest time just finding their way through anything. They'll get stuck on a tree and just stand there and kind of gum up the whole works. So what you want to do is make the surrounding area as flat as possible, including the lip edge of this guy so they can just walk right off and into the water. Okay, so come up to one of the edges here on the five, right in the center, and then count the first block here, count out to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then uh, start digging. So what you wanna do is create a two by three uh, little room, and you wanna make it four deep, just like this. Best way to look at this one is make certain it's lined up with that three, with the edge of the three is lined up this way, and that we're centered on the five this way. And this will make this the village center. This is where you're gonna put your villager. So it's four blocks deep and it's two by three. And just hop on in, grab your bed, and put it on one side here, and then grab your workstation, put it over there. And then it's always a good idea to throw a little carpet down and that will keep things from spawning down here. Uh, it's not a bad idea also to throw up a torch or two on the walls. Once you have those things in there, just uh, you can go ahead and load up your uh, villager and that villager should automatically claim the bed and claim the occupation for your workstation right there. Now, at this point, it's really easy, just cover it up in glass. Now next, grab your water and of course um, your two buckets. What you can do is place one bucket right here and one bucket right there, and then you can grab from the middle and that's an infinite water source. But you're gonna go around and you're gonna hit the, uh, you're gonna fill up the uh, five side, then you're gonna hit the three side, and then you're gonna hit both of the ones, just like that. And then back to the three, and then back to the five, just like that and just keep that pattern all the way around. Now, if you did it right, this is what it should look like, and it should give you a three by three in the middle here, just like this. So we're gonna jump to the three by three side, and we're gonna dig this down 24 blocks. So, and we're gonna dig out the whole, the whole little section here. All right, now that that's done, you can pop out to the side here, and then what you wanna do is just go about a block uh, beyond the lip, so actually two from the water right here, and you're gonna dig down 25 blocks. Now, once you get down to the bottom of this 25 blocks, just start digging towards the center of the farm until you reach your three by three section right in the middle there. Perfect. Now, this is a good time to give yourself a way out by placing your ladders down right on the wall of this one Head it on up all the way up to the surface. You can cover this up with a trap door if you want. Now back down here in the three by three, what we wanna do is widen this up. Give yourself some space to move and um, kind of circle around this center area. So just kind of dig it out, have some fun with it, you know, as big or as narrow as you wanna make it, uh, but you're gonna need at least, you're gonna need at least a two block gap away from and around that, that three area. And you're definitely gonna wanna have it three tall. And definitely, don't forget to light this one up. Make, make certain to get enough light so you don't get any spawns down here. That's the last thing you need in the middle of a raid is a bunch of mobs spawning down in this area. But this is what mine looks like. All right, so we're gonna come over to one edge of the three by three. We're gonna find the center block right here we're going to stand it so we're under kind of like the edge right here and it's at this point right under us that we're going to dig and then we're going to come out two just like this so if you can see that lines up it's one off from your stairway but this block right here lines up with that row but it's dead center under there and then we're going to pop down a double chest and then we're going to grab our hoppers and the first one goes in pointed into the chest second one goes up uh, point it on top, and then we're gonna create a three by three, just like this, 
all pointed into the one that points down uh, and then into the chest just right there. Take your slabs and you're gonna pop them right on top, right over these hoppers. And that's gonna give a nice little spot where the experience from your kills isn't gonna get trapped into the well of the hopper, but the hopper can still pick up the items that the mobs drop. Take the remainder of your glass and you're gonna ring right around the edge of the three by three hole. Grab your trap doors and you're gonna go one, two, three on this side and then spin and rotate one, two, three, just on those three center blocks. Spin and rotate one, two, three, and one, two, three. These just help keep the sight down just a little bit uh, so that when you're inside here, the crossbowmen across the way don't shoot at you. And that's the whole build. Now you can see I decorated mine with a bunch of banners because that's something you're definitely going to get uh, through this whole thing. But this is the entirety of the whole design. It's really simple and you're going to get a ton of crossbows. You're going to get totems of undying. You're going to get saddles from the ravagers. And yes, the ravagers will drop down there. You're going to get potions and redstone from the witches as well as spider eyes and sticks and gunpowder. And the johnnies are going to give you some iron axes. All right, let me show you how to use this thing. All right, so if you plan on using this on a regular basis, it's not an AFK farm. You will be killing most of the mobs. Now, the fall down there is going to create some damage. But the Ravagers just have so many hit points that it's not going to make much of a difference. If you do build this by a raid tower, just like that one, it doesn't matter if you have the hero like I have, Hero of the Village. Uh, already ready to go and that's just because I already defeated a couple raids today before I started filming and so let me jump over here and let's show you how to load it up if it's built by your base you just want to wait till a pillager patrol comes by and then make certain to kill the captain but if you're over here you can just keep getting the bad omen by returning to the raid tower so let's go there right now all right, so I usually land up on top here. As you can see, we've already kind of um, <laughs> we've already kind of dug holes into everything. And what you want to do is just come up to the edge. And usually they can't hit you with a crossbow. It does depend upon the terrain around your your tower, but um, you know they're right here. We're not looking for these regular guys. We're looking for the raid captain. So every once in a while, you want to hit them and just kind of attract everybody over. And there's a raid captain, a raid captain, and uh, you can tell who he is by the banner he's got. So you want to. Uh, hit him and then boom. Oh, we already got it. So we've got uh, the bad omen already So now what we can do and this will be kind of quick We're gonna jump off here and then we're gonna immediately go back over to our farm And the nice thing is is you can just boom, Land right there and what you want to do is get down your trap your your hole here as quick as you can down your ladders because the raid has started the second you came within an H range of that villager you have up there. And then it's just a matter of waiting. Ow. All right, so we're starting to see them drop down. What they're gonna do is they're gonna make for yeah. the villager. Now pillagers always have kind of a funny little spread out pattern before they before they go for their target so there's always you know about a 30 second wait from when the raid starts until they start dropping but you'll notice almost all of them always find their way right into the water at which point you just kind of pop up here and with your looting three sword you need to start taking them out left and right now you'll notice all these guys have crossbows. They're not really bothering me. And then I can back up. And although I have the glass here, you know, they, they're not shooting at me or, or trying to get me at all. So I can come in here and again, just start taking them out. And then we got two left. So I'm just gonna grab that little bit of experience and we're gonna wait for those two to come down. Now, if everything seems to pause and you've left your terrain as jagged as mine is in this one, they're probably hung up somewhere outside. Now there's one of the two. 
and then there's the two right there and then boom and then we can recharge and we start the next wave of the raid every once in a while if you build it too close to the pillager tower which we did in this instance we need to move this about 20 blocks further away and then we'd be just fine uh or you left your terrain really jagged you're gonna get um, little hangups where a witch is going to get stuck on the wrong side of a river or down in a hole, and then you're going to have to go up and find them. The best way to do is just to give it about a minute for the next wave to come in, and they're going to all pour down the hole, make certain you know, you're taking Power. care of your vindicators and your ravagers and all of those things, Power. and then go out and when you've got a signal that you've got one or two left then it's going to be safe to go outside uh, to uh, go find those few stragglers and go get them now a funny thing about raids is they can pick up extra things so if you have witches in the area if it's night outside anything like that um, they can pick up, like I said, witches, and because we are really close to that pillager tower, they can also pick up extra pillagers from the tower. And that's another reason why you want that larger degree of separation. We're going to rebuild it sometime next week uh, when my friends are on, and we'll have a good time then. And there's a Ravager right on time. Okay, so this guy's gonna have a guy riding on top of him. And you'll notice because of the slabs, he tends to bouncing. This guy can hit you through the glass blocks. He has a tremendous reach for his attack. So what you wanna do is just kind of back off here, just at a point where your sword can reach him, clear out the other guys, and then just keep kind of Pounding at him. Now you'll notice him keep doing that bouncing trick. That's something he's always done for me. Uh, and I think it's because he's kind of like in between just on the bottom slabs. He will finally settle down. But usually hitting him a few, a few times. We'll do that. And then eventually, boom, everything's gone. And we're down to just one last raider. Oh, there she goes. She poisoned me. Okay, so if you're standing in the corners, they can get you a little bit. And so I've got a little poison on me right now, but yeah, it didn't even do anything with my OP armor, so we're all right. Okay, so there is one of those casting guys right there. You can see him right there in the black robes. Now, if I get into that little area right there where we're missing a, um, a trap door, he can probably uh, launch the Vex. So I'm just gonna hang out back here just like this and take everybody out. There should be mostly one punch. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, they can get a Vex through every once in a while. Um, ooh, geez, that was cool. Okay, all right, good to know. So, you know, don't come down here like naked without everything you need. Yeah, don't let those guys linger too long then. All right, we got our second Ravager on this rage. Ooh, see, they can get you if you're too close. So just kind of back up. They've got a huge hit box, so it's really easy to get them from back here. And like I said, they can kind of power through that glass. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. And then there's the sign, Raid Victory. Now, normally you'd hear some cheering and all kinds of good stuff the first time you get it i already had it on me so it just says raid victory at the top three raids and this is what we ended up with after combining all the broken crossbows i came up with nine full strength fully repaired crossbows bunch of uh, little witchy bits including an instant health potion some glowstone dust we got six saddles uh we got 64 and 12 emeralds so 76 emeralds not too bad Three totems of undying. Uh, I've been throwing out most of the ominous banners because, you know, frankly, the walls are already all filled up. And so uh, just the last few waves there gave us like 12 of those. And then combining the axes that the Johnnies dropped, uh, we got one fully healed and then one partial uh, iron axe, which isn't too bad. And you can always just melt down the individual ones uh, for uh, iron, uh, iron nuggets if you want to. Um, that's when you go. 
All right, so this has been a super simple raid farm. It's a good solid thing. Just remember you're not entirely invincible down below. Those ravagers can get you. And if you let those vindicators with the vexes hang around too long, they're gonna launch them. So you just wanna jump in there and kill them as quickly as you can. Now I'm gonna go take this hero of the village and go do some training at my training hall. And uh, I love you guys, and I cannot say thank you enough for the tremendous support. You guys have been absolutely awesome, and I'm looking forward to all the cool things coming out. So by um, next Friday, which is going to be April 24th, we will have our website up and our Discord going as well. So I, I have more information on that when it comes out. Uh, but it's already shaping up to be something quite awesome. And the website's going to be pretty cool, too. That's where we're going to be able to get a hold of some unique information that I'm probably not going to put up on the channel. But the Discord's where you're going to be able to get suggestions. We're going to have chats, and we're going to have some unique content in there as well. And that's something I really want to do. And it's all going to be free and accessible to everybody. So I can't wait to see you all there. And I can't wait to make my next video. And I can't say thank you enough. You guys have been awesome. So, so have a good night, a good day, a good morning. I love all you. Take care.